Your Honor, may I expound? What? When I found out about what had happened, this mistake, the power outage, the clerk contacted me to let me know what the problem was. I told the clerk that I would be in bright and early the next morning at 6 a.m. while the guest is still physically present in the hotel and I can have the plaintiff and the person that's actually in the room meet with each other right there. Anything that she may have forgotten, she didn't pick up the evening before. Did you do that? I did. Okay, that was at what time did you get there? I got there at 6. We met with the person in the room at 7 a.m. while they were still sleep in the room. You went to the room with the plaintiff? I did, and the clerk that made them an error. Was her luggage and things still in the room? She had gotten it, I understand, on the initial meeting when they got back from their room from their evening out. Anything that she may have needed to recall or anything that she may have forgotten, I wanted to make sure that I had both parties there physically present. So anything that she may have forgotten, that she'd have an opportunity Where to Where was it up. her property at 7 a.m.? Where was her luggage, her clothes, everything else? I understand she had picked it up later on that when Early they got back from that evening. That morning, anything that she may have forgotten... No, no, no. Where was it physically? Was it in the hotel? It was in the hotel. Yeah, in their... In the, the room that they were given... When they came back at 4 in the morning, her key doesn't work, so she has to come back and get a proper key because it got reprogrammed with the other guest. When she gets the new key, the, she saw that the other guest. Did she come back alone, or did she come back with her husband? That he was. wasn't physically there at the time. She didn't... He didn't come onto the scene until later. I dealt with her one-on-one -on -one with the guest that was in the room. Now, was she put in another room until 7 o'clock in the morning? She was. What room number was she put 116, in? 116, premium. And was her luggage moved out of the old room? My understanding was it was. But you don't know that? I don't know. Okay. Room 116, they have records of it. Do you remember going back to the room with Mr. Johnson at 7 o'clock in the morning and having a meeting with the other people who were in your room? Do you remember that? That's a yes or a no? Yes. And by that time, you had been in another room Correct. with your luggage, room 116. Correct. Right. And you had been there for at least an hour. I just... The Do clerk... You know, that question... No, the clerk put my belongings in room 16. I came back... 116. 116. I did, came back did... out into the lobby and I sat there waiting for the police. I did not go in into the room back. So you're telling me that you did not go into the room to look at your luggage to see if your twelve one hundred dollar bills were there. Is that what you're telling me? That you went and sat in the lobby and didn't say the first thing that you said, gee, I have twelve one hundred dollar bills that are just lying around in an envelope. Let me see if they're there. I think my um, my safety, my life was more important. I don't believe you. Your case you is know... dismissed. We're done. Parties are excused. You may step out. The police said all they is interested is in larceny. The items just continually grew each time we got a, a report from her. There wasn't a break and enter into the hotel. Either from the police or herself. So... It was the hotel negligence. At that point, we really didn't believe all the things that she said that she, she had missed. I would never stay there again. I would never, ever recommend.